Well, I think I'm quite a, a driven person, I think, thanks to, to my own background, coming from working class Liverpool and ending up you know, living in behind one of the most famous doors in the in, in the world. I mean, you know, sometimes you could I could pinch myself to think that, that that had happened, and it couldn't have happened, really, to a girl like me at any other time, really, than the time it happened. I mean, hope it'll happen more now. But you know, in, that I was born in the second half of the 20th century, in where I, I was, and that I was lucky enough to have the education and and to be able to use my my brain to follow my passion for, for the law and for problem solving. And, and somehow or ever, you know, I, I'm just still, I still remain curious and, you know, driven. The older I get, the more driven I become because we've not changed the world enough. We're not doing enough uh, to enable women to fulfill their potential. And we have to do more about, uh, about that, whether it's through our philanthropy, but also actually for the way we do business. So, for some reason, I don't quite know why, I've always been interested in the way we, we deliver legal services. And I've set up a number of different uh, legal uh, businesses in my time. And you know, now, in the 21st century, to be able to do law across the world and, and, and to work on an international field and help other people who are realizing that really in the 21st century, thanks to technology, the world is our oyster. We can make partnerships across the world. We can make things happen across the world. And that's uh, really exciting and, 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 and inspiring. And uh, if it's sometimes a bit of an up and down journey, we can solve the problems. We can if we just put our minds to it and work together.